This is the second problem on temperature stresses. A steel rod 3 cm diameter 5 meter long is connected to two grips and the rod is maintained at a temperature of 95 degrees Celsius. Determine the stresses and pull exerted when the temperature falls to 30 degree. If the ends do not yield, the ends yield by 0.12 cm. So, Young's modulus 2 into 10 raised to 5 mega Newton per meter square and alpha coefficient of thermal expansion 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 per degree Celsius. Let me first list the data. So, diameter of the rod. 3 centimeter so which is equivalent to 30 millimeter length of the rod 5 meter so which is 5000 millimeters so change in temperature which is 95 minus 30 so which is 65 degree Celsius next Young's modulus 2 into 10 raised to 5 mega Newton per meter square so after conversion of Young's modulus you will get 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per millimeter square so already you know the conversion of Young's modulus. So alpha equals 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 per degree Celsius. Okay. So I will solve first case 1. The ends do not yield. So in this case stress sigma equals alpha t e so alpha is 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 change in temperature 65 so Young's modulus 2 into 10 raised to 5 so let me use the calculator So first 12 into 10 raised to minus 6 multiplied by 65 multiplied by 2 into 10 raised to 5. So it is 156. So this stress sigma equals 156 newton per millimeter square next it is required to calculate the pull which is nothing but load so p equals so it is stress multiplied by area so p equals stress we know the answer 156 Newton per millimeter square multiplied by area. So here we know the diameter. So since we know the diameter, we can calculate the area. So pi into 30 square divided by 4. So area will be So area will be 706.85. So 
so this cross sectional area so it will be 706.85 so here it is 706.85 millimeter square so here millimeter square millimeter square get cancelled so p equals so here it is p equals 156 multiplied by 706.85 so it is 110268.6 newton so if you divide this by 1000 so you will get pull exerted in kilonewton so divided by 1000 so it will be 110 kilonewton so this is for first case so these two answers are for first case the ends do not yield so similarly let me solve for second case so here case 2 case 2 is the ends yield by 0.12 centimeter so which means delta equals 0.12 centimeter so which is equal to 1.2 millimeters so in this case so stress sigma equals alpha t l minus delta divided by l okay multiplied by Young's modulus e so let me substitute the values so alpha value 12 into 10 raise to minus 6 change in temperature t that is 65 l length of the rod 5000 minus 1.2 divided by again length of the rod 5000 multiplied by Young's modulus so Young's modulus is 2 into 10 raise to 5 so let me solve this so 12 12 into 10 raise to minus 6 multiplied by 65 again multiplied by 5000 minus 1.2 divided by 5000 so this will be 5.4 into 10 raise to minus 4 so this should be multiplied with your Young's modulus 2 into 10 raise to 5 so then you will get sigma so sigma equals so 5.4 into 10 raise to minus 4 multiplied by 2 into 10 raise to 5 so it is 108 so this is the stress 108 newton per millimeter square so next let me calculate the load or pull exerted so again it is same stress multiplied by area so here stress is 108 newton per millimeter square 
multiplied by area so 706.85 millimeter square so millimeter square millimeter square gets can cancelled so you will get after after multiplication you will get answer in newton so 108 108 multiplied by 706.85 so you will get to load as 76339.8 newton so to convert this newton to kilo newton so you just simply divide by 1000 then you will get final answer in kilo newton so divided by 1000 so it is 76 point 76.33 kilo newton so this is stress sigma 108 newton per millimeter square and this is the load 76.33 kilo newton so these two answers are for case 2 when the ends yield by 0 0.12 centimeters